Hello everyone and welcome to one of my rare videos. I decided to post a little update as I had a few comments asking about the crossbow design. Quite a few things have happened since then but I didn't post a proper video since I still didn't come up with a really dependable design and I didn't want to waste any more of your very precious time. My original dart hog crossbow had two serious flaws. The first one is that the two secondary strings, which reach the highest tension in a compound bow design, were running above the center line, resulting in an asymmetrical tension on the cams. In simpler words, under high load the cam would cant and the main string fall off the cam. This didn't happen in the first trials, but became an issue as soon as I tried to increase the power of the bow. The second flaw, which forced me to restart from scratch, was the general design of the frame. I started designing this crossbow when I still had poor understanding of 3D printing and many parts were either too flimsy or too difficult to print, especially when the crossbow was printed at full scale. After putting the crossbow on hold, I tried designing some powerful nerf guns for my nephew. The first attempts didn't work at all, but by the fifth I got something rather powerful. The design uses slingshot rubber tubes to propel a piston which drives the nerf round by forcing air into the barrel. The design is technically a bullpup as the round is located behind the grip, allowing for the barrel to be quite long for a relatively short gun. As nerf rounds prove to be very inaccurate even at short distances, I tried adding a smaller diameter tube inside the barrel and shooting 8mm plastic BBs. These fly much straighter and further than nerf rounds and hit a lot harder too. The next logical step was to try steel balls, but this air piston design didn't work well. I tried designing a smaller gun using the rubber tubes as direct drive for the steel balls instead of an air piston and achieved decent power but very little range. Finally, I decided to revisit the crossbow as it was surprisingly powerful for its size but this time using the airgun frame since it proved very strong even printed with cheap and brittle PLA. I already addressed the cam issue by flipping one of the cams upside down, thus having the two secondary strings running one above and one below the center line. I want to keep the bullpup set up as it offers a stronger frame and more compact overall design, although it does add a challenge which I haven't answered yet, namely how to draw the bow. I also want to use 8mm plastic or steel balls, since these are much cheaper, do somewhat less damage in an apartment and most importantly are available in my region. I presently live in China where crossbows are illegal and crossbow bolts are particularly hard to come by. I could of course buy standard arrows and cut them down, but for now the BB idea seems an easier and safer one for me. To sum it up, I just posted a video update to inform you of all my failed designs and my hope to eventually, one day, in the not too distant future, come up with a ballistic device that is more than a cheap toy, can be printed by anyone using PLA and works reliably. Also, a quick update about the .hog website where all the STL files can be downloaded for free. I recently changed my VPN provider and somehow can't open the editor window for the Weebly platform. Thus the site is not up to date and right now simply can't be updated. I'm obviously terribly sorry for an inconvenience and I'll probably try to update it sometime. Anyway, thanks for watching.